pozole. I love me some pozole. Made with pork, red chili, have your cilantro, your cebolla. It's like so good when you're like hungover, being crudo con una michelada. In your bowl, you're able to like top it with like cabbage and just all kinds of shit, man. It's just, it's a Mexican tradition. What if you were to find a human bone in your pozole? Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Suense a la suburban. Let's get this video on the road. What's up, guys? JC's back by popular demand. You name it. All this crazy shit. Seeing stuff that you're not supposed to see. And you're not supposed to do because obviously they, they leave a scar on you and you end up turning into something not so good sometimes. And that's what we're going to talk about today all the links to my t-shirts and everything my other channel with my wife where you get to see my everyday life are in the description let's get into this motherfucking hey i have a job for you oh well, what's what's the what's the job pay you 600 dollars a week okay okay what, what do i gotta do what do i gotta do 600 i can do 600 you just have to dispose of bodies that is it are we talking about bodies alive or like bodies we are talking about santiago mesa lopez aka el pozo lero he's 57 now he was in his 40s when he got arrested but this is an oldie but a goodie <laughs> because they will be talking about this guy to the end of times in mexico especially and Baja California and Tijuana in that area because I guarantee you this will turn into a this will be a scary story to tell the kids because this motherfucker was doing it like Costco he was dissolving bodies and asset like Costco he confessed to over 400 bodies right they're still finding bodies right now he's been put away for years they're still finding bodies left and right in this in, in the form that acid dissolves uh, bodies they call I think they call it soda something is the name of it but what it does it's these two chemicals they put together it's like white little caps they put together in a barrel and what happens is that that acid eats the protein in your hair your skin your body your bones everything and it dissolves it and it makes it into like this goo I don't know how to explain it but it's 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 not cool <laughs> it's not cool this form of I guess you could say scare tactic or whatever you want to call it is, is becoming actually very very popular in Mexico now the other cartels are doing it now the Jalisco cartel are doing it they're just disappearing people it's like an inside joke for those that you know haven't been in that lifestyle. It's like an inside joke in between the cartels because they're making pozole with rival cartel members. Yeah, I think I'll stick to my kind of pozole. Big power struggle happened with the leadership with Luis Arellano, a.k.a. El Ingeniero, and war broke out, making Tijuana into one of the most dangerous cities to visit they were they were causing havoc and and think about it you know tijuana and baja california is almost well, it's, it's an island it sits by itself so once you're able to control that whole area you pretty much there's one way out one way in pretty much you have the border there so you're controlling a lot a lot of money a lot of money so this is usually what happens is that one one organization usually breaks up into two and they go to war and the El Pozolero is sitting in prison right now in Juarez, but he still hasn't been sentenced. They're still, I think they're trying to bring up more and more stuff or they're trying to hide him because. 
So this is a guy that didn't even know how to read and write, but he was dissolving people like some like CIA, KGB shit, you know. This guy was not a killer, man. I don't care what anybody says. This guy was not a killer. He was in, he used to do construction work for them and take care of their horses. What are you going to say when a big big cartel leader is telling you to do something? You know, it's 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 a, it's a tricky question and for a lot of people that are out there in Mexico that are poor and that are like struggling with just life in general it's how bad he felt and how sorry he wanted to tell all the families of all the people that he did that to because he he feels haunted by by his actions just like you have to work on yourself you have to watch who you hang around with who you talk to who you work for everything and anything that could put you in harm or put you in a situation that you won't be able to get yourself out of because sometimes Shit is forced on you when you're around the wrong people or shit is forced on you because you get caught with the wrong people. Make sure you know what you're doing, who you're talking to, who you're working for. And if you see that there's something fishy, get the fuck out of there, man. Get out of there. Move as fast as you can. Move. My name's JC. I am Wrong Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it right out here. Not selling drugs, not doing drugs, not gangbanging, not wanting to be a Sicario, because trust me, it's not what you think. It might be cool to run around with a vest and a gun, but it ain't cool when they're shooting at you. I'll tell you guys on the rebound.